Hi, I'd just like to show you my uh, fursuit collars. Uh, I've made these big enough to go around most typical fursuit necks, and if not, they can be adjusted in and out any way you want. I use these nice plastic buckles. I like these because they're not uh, pointy, they're nice and soft, and so I really like these when I ordered these. Um, but this is all 100% made by me. Um, pro I made the uh, circuitry and I programmed them, and uh, I can also do whatever programming I want. So. Here's how, you, uh, here's how you modify your own collar. There's a button on the controller right here. You can hear a click. Hear that? So as you press it, it'll cycle through every uh, different pattern. You know, there's 15 of them, and they're all pretty unique. Some on a beat goes faster, some goes brighter, some go slower, some move a dot around, some do this. <laughs> uh, there's also a, a music detection algorithm, so if it doesn't hear any beats, it'll just go on its own. Um, which is after like a while, we'll just determine there's no music and it'll just animate on its own. Uh, so yeah, so with different patterns, as you can see. Uh, if you are, if you like a particular pattern, just stay on one pattern, and uh, after 30 seconds, it'll save it. So when you turn it off, turn it back on, it'll go back to that pattern. Um, but if you don't have a, a favorite pattern, you can press and hold. See, so it turns green and it flashes. That means it's uh, set up the automatic advanced mode which I call auto advance so basically uh, for camera purposes here I've made it so it advances every six seconds so as you'll see in about six seconds I'll do something different there you go, there's a dot there you go so it just it just goes on to the next and just do that forever uh, to disable it all you gotta do is press the button again and now you're it'll just stay on that pattern it'll, it disables it right away so you just gotta press and hold it again to re-enable it um, so yeah, that's pretty much how you modify it while it's running. You can also change the sensitivity by turning it off. There's a switch on the back here. You can just rock it left and right. See, turn it back on, turn it off. Now when you, you can press and hold the button, uh, like this, and turn it on at the same time. So it's like a, pre a turn on and hold. And if you let go before that green bar ha hits all the way end, you'll end up in a menu. Let me do that again real quick. Hold down, go, until you see green, let go. And then you'll get into your menu. Now, I've, this is the reason why I did this is that there's actually two different actions you can do here. So turn it off again, hold down. If you let it go all the way, so green, it goes all the way, and it flashes green like this, that means it's reset. It's, it's uh, reset all the internal memory, like the save sequence and the, uh, the sensitivity back to defaults, so which is basically the most sensitive and uh, automatically so you can, um, advancing. So let's do this again. Hold it down, turn it on, see the green, let go. So now you're in a menu. As you can see, as you press the button, it goes through four different options. So the first one is um, the, the most insensitive. So use this one here for raves and such like this. This is the medium sensitivity. Uh, I usually don't use it, but it's available. I programmed it in, uh, but generally you use the two different sensitivities. This is your most sensitive. So you set this one up uh, for just generally anything. You can even use it in a rave if you want. It's just that what will happen is your animations will kind of not be right because they will be kind of basically peaked out. You already be peaking out the audio. Um, and the fourth one I added in as no music. So basically what that is is it triggers on the 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 scenario where it doesn't hear any music and it just does its own animations. So now this is permanent. It will never listen to music. It will just use a counter. It will just move a number around, around, around. And it will just move the animations on a nice linear scale. So if you don't want any jerkiness or whatever from random music or whatever, you can set this up and it will just look you know real nice. Like say, I'll, t I'll show you it now. So here's no music. To set it, you have to press and hold like that. It flashes green to accept it, and now you're you're back into your normal programming. So as you can see, ah, oh, there's that was a good one. Here we go. So here's like a VU meter, right? It's supposed to go up and down on the beat, but now it's just going up and down linearly to just a counter, right? It kind of takes over from the music. So this is what you'll see too when normally when there's no music, it'll do this. Um, see stuff like this, it'd be just on its own, and. Uh, 
you know so if you like nice constant rgb fading you can do that you know you know just random pixels whatever so yeah so now if i turn it off and back on hold the button i'm back in my menu see it's back to here if i want to be my least insensitive i can press and hold again and now it's back into being in the music so that's how you change your sensitivity and uh and if you don't like it or if you just want to quickly reset it you just you know turn it off turn it on let it go all the way and bam it's now its most sensitive setting and it's back to this default animation which is my favorite actually one of my favorites i like the the middle one it comes out so you know and uh, of course i'm always adding more sequences and such so anyway hope you enjoy your color um if you bought one from me thank you very much um I uh, offer a 90-day warranty for these, so if anything happens, um, just let me know, and uh, I will fix it for you. You know, uh, just look, read my terms of service. Basically, you have to ship it to me, but I'll ship it back to you for free. You know, I'll fix it for free, right? As long as it's under warranty. Um, but there's a few things, like say uh, these are LED strips inside, right? You know, they're flexible, but they're not that flexible. They're flexible to a certain degree. But if you take them, there's no LED site there. Say there's LEDs here. If you can't get like this, uh, please don't because you will break it. And you don't want to have to ship it back to me, right? So just treat it really like it's, you know, I wouldn't say it's fragile, but just don't stand on it. Don't kink it really hard. You know, when you pack it, try to pack it round instead of trying to kink it everywhere you go, right? Uh, and then you'll you'll have the most longest lasting uh, product out there. Uh, oh, I didn't even show you yet the, the battery compartment. So everything I just told you, is on the back of the battery door so you don't have to remember all this if you want to you know program it on the fly you don't want to have to look at a video it's all on the back of here it just tells you you know well you know this is while running button press go to next animation and disable auto advance right and button hold re-enable auto advance <laughs> will change pattern every 40 seconds so yeah i'll be reprogramming these back to 40 seconds instead of six seconds um or whatever i can i can change i, I program these so i can change whatever i want uh, and then on boot, you know, try to make it as easy as I can, you know, it says hold long, reset all defaults, uh, hold short, <laughs> auto gain sensitivity select. So yeah, a short hold, so when you see it, you let go right away. And uh, yeah, it even tells you right here how the, the actual decibels, so the LED, first LED is 40 decibels, 50 decibels, 60 decibels, so 60 being the most sensitive, it'll, it'll actually it auto gains to a, a wider, broader range. So there you go. So that's your LED collar in a nutshell. Uh, oh, yes, yeah, and Duracell batteries um, are recommended. I've used different types of batteries, like the cheapy, industrial, heavy-duty, whatever. They're, they're garbage. They only last like four hours. These here last like 10 hours. I literally took one of these, put fresh set of Duracells in it, and just wore it all day and whenever I went about and watched it until it dies. And, um, yeah, 10 hours, straight up 10 hours these things lasted. I was pretty impressed. So, and another quick thing, when these do die, when these run out of power, uh, they will, um, the, the LEDs will actually remember their last state. So what happens, what happens when the batteries die is, is funny actually, the, the microcontroller loses uh, power first, so it stops processing, but the LEDs will remember their last state, so they will stay lit up, you know, it'll just be frozen, you think it's broken, but it's actually just dead batteries, so it'll just, this animation will just stop and it'll be where it last was last frame the leds have received you know until you put new batteries in or turn it off turn it on you might get a couple more minutes of, of runtime, right you know and another thing i've noticed is when the batteries get you know a little bit low like when they're like say 20 minutes or half an hour away from dying it, it also affects the the microphone a bit so <laughs> your audio reaction might be a little bit sluggish it's won't be as peppy as as this right here you see here right it's kind of bam 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 uh so i mean it's very minor stuff like i'm the creator of this stuff i see everything you know like just artists they see everything so you know um it's just these little things you know maybe later on i'll add like a maybe do lipos or something but i really the reason why i went with double a AA or triple a batteries is i don't feel right putting lipos on a device that goes around somebody's neck right i mean lipos are really bad these things are pretty safe these are industry standard stuff but the lipos i'd find to be you know from china or from hobby stores and i really don't want to do that you know i don't want to get into that kind of liability 
So triple uh, A's it is, and you know it's actually not that bad. Ten hours, and you get a little box like this size, like it's it's nothing, right? So I'm happy with that. I mean, this is a, a, a first with collars, the biggest collars I make. I make human size collars. I make cuffs. I make um, anklets, whatever, right? And soon to be harnesses, but the harnesses would be powered by. Uh, a USB power bank instead of AAA batteries because there would be room for it. If I had room, I'd actually be, I'd be using USB power banks in here instead. But a USB power bank would be way too big to fit in here and too long, and it'll be look weird. So this is the best compromise I've had so far. It's the safest. Safety is my number one concern, as I make you know full light suits for people that I I I make sure it's really safe. So. You know, if it, if it involves a little bit more bulky stuff, then so be it. You know, as long as people are having fun and, you know, there's no mishaps, then we're, we're good, right? So anyway, thank you very much for listening to me rambling and show you how the collar works. And, uh, yeah, no, have a good day. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.